morning guys i'm starting this vlog um a little bit more unprepared than i normally would hence why i'm still doing my makeup i have been having the worst time or the hardest time getting to sleep recently um this happens a lot and it's something that i've always had problems with but yeah last night was not fun basically i just can't fall asleep i'm absolutely exhausted i've been up all day i even did like a spin class yesterday which really tires me out and i still got to that point of the night where i got into bed and i just could not sleep it's, it's so frustrating because i feel so tired but my body won't it's not my body it's my brain it just won't shut off and i get to a point where i'm maybe like a little bit drowsy and sleepy and then all of a sudden i just like get woken up by my thoughts and it's not nice because you know you get to like 4 a.m Joe's fast asleep next to me, like snoring his head off, which I also think doesn't help. Usually whenever he leaves to go to work is when I finally get into a proper deep sleep. Moon's there, the dog is like properly snoring at the foot of the bed, and it, it just ends up feeling like you're being mocked by the people you love, you know? Why are they sleeping and I'm not sleeping? Um, yeah, it's a whole awful like mind game situation. So I didn't properly fall asleep. I checked my Fitbit, which I've been sleeping in, to like track my my sleep. And I don't think I fell asleep until about six. So I'm absolutely knackered. Um, this day is therefore starting off a lot later than I wanted it to. And I think I'm gonna end up posting this vlog tomorrow instead of today. I wanted to put this up on a Friday and have like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday vlogmas situation going on, but I I don't know if that's going to happen now. <laughs> so I'm going to vlog today. Uh, it's Friday today. I think we might go out later, I say, hopefully. Um, but if not, we'll maybe like stay in, get a takeaway and have a chilled one. Joe's on his way back from work at the moment. It's about two o'clock, I think. Lucky sod. Um, yeah, so he's on his way back. And then I kind of wanted to get... Guys, I really can't talk to my eyebrows at the same time. This is why I get ready before I start filming. Because this just does not work out. Hang on, let me finish these. There we go. Um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to go to the gym a bit later. I'm going to see if I can try and fit that in. But I'm also waiting for a delivery today. A couple of deliveries. Um, one particularly important one that I do want to show you if it comes. <sighs> what is next? I can't even remember how I do my makeup when I'm this tired. <laughs> I'm kind of contemplating just leaving it there and not putting mascara on. I'm going to cut my eyelashes. Um, yeah, so I want to show you what that is when that comes. And who knows what else is in store for the rest of this vlog. We shall see. But I'm going to finish getting ready now. And then I will be back with you, hopefully, for some quality content that doesn't involve an eyelash colour. I swear, building noises are actually going to be... The death of me. I think we have a lull for five seconds, so I'm gonna try to film now. Um, so, hi guys. Oh no, there it goes again. You're gonna have to excuse that sound. This is the only room in the house right now where there's any light. So this is just gonna have to do. Um, but look what came. So this is the bag that I was talking about in the last vlog, I think. I thought we could unbox it together. So here she is. I ordered this from the website directly from Sophie Hume. It's just come in this little dust bag. Let's get this out and have a look. I'm really excited about this. Oh, she's pretty. Uh, here we go. So some of you guessed which bag I was talking about and which one I was going to get. And that it was the Bolt bag. So this is called the Bolt bag, I think, because of this detailing here on the top. It has very um, simple hardware and like a very minimal design. And that's so what floats my boat at the moment. I love the like non-branding minimal look. Um, which is why I've been so into my acne masubi bag um, and this kind of just like follows those exact same lines because it's just very minimal so this has a top handle I really like a bag with a top handle and an across body so it does have both let's open it up and see what it looks like it has the most gorgeous lining it's like this really gorgeous brown color let's take you out so here's the strap there. It has a really cool strap with these very big holes in it. So to put this on, there's kind of like a little fancy mechanism here. You pull this and it kind of just slips up into that position. And then we can put it on the strap. I think I'm going to go for the second longest setting. 
And there we go, now it has its um, strap on. So this is probably the way I'm gonna mostly wear it. And I like that it's quite high up here on the waist. It's like not a super low slung across body bag. And obviously that's gonna be adjustable with the strap and everything. It's a really, really nice size. Inside too, actually, there's a lot of space in here. It kind of goes out, so it starts off a little bit skinnier at the top and then flares out to the bottom. So this is actually quite a considerable amount of space, especially for a smaller crossbody bag like this. So yeah, there she is. I really, really like how this looks. I can tell already that this is a keeper. I feel like I could take this off too and just wear it. I've got the zip I'm done right now. Let me do that up. Wear it with the top handle like that and the strap just sort of hanging down. I am very, very pleased with this little one. Mm. Excuse me guys, I've just literally demolished an entire mince pie um, before I picked up the camera. I actually got some of the Waitrose ones, the Waitrose organic um, proper fancy, fancy ones, thinking they'd be amazing. And oh, I'm not, I'm not that impressed actually. Can't beat the good old co-op own brand pounder box um, mince pies, it seems. They have been the best so far. We've tested quite a few. It's only the 5th, 6th of December today. We've already had about, you know, I probably had more mince pies than have been days in the month so far. But yes, don't waste your money on Waitrose Organic. Go for the cheapy, cheapy co-op ones. They were amazing. I have a little bit more eyeliner on than the last time you saw me. Um, we are going to go out for a drink and maybe some food to see where the night takes us. It's Friday night, so anything can happen. But uh, yeah, I've just put some... Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner on. I found a black eyeliner and I went a little bit ham with it. So that's a little bit different. And yeah, I thought I would show you what I'm wearing out tonight. So really simple basic outfit, basically, you know, all centered around this blazer. This is the oversized ASOS blazer from my capsule wardrobe video. I have to say, this is probably one of the best things from that video. Um, if it is still in stock, definitely go and check it out because the sizing of this is so, so perfect. I think this is actually a size 10, I wanna say. Maybe it's a 12, 10 or a 12. Either way, it fits perfectly and has this really long, cool, oversized look to it. So yeah, I'm pretty much like ecstatic about that. Um, so I have this blazer on, on top of an Arquette long sleeve top, which is a little bit see-through. It's nighttime though, no one's gonna notice, that doesn't really matter. I really like the texture of this because it's quite a sort of satiny, like slippery feeling material. It's really, really nice. And then I actually have just a pair of black skinny jeans on. These are from H&M. They are the sculpting skinny jeans, which were in my H&M video that I did recently. These are amazing. If you're looking for a pair of black skinny jeans, just, they're the one. All good things. Um, here and they're just like a really good black and a really like skinny skinny jean um, I've got it belted here with an Aunt other stories belt boots are also from my ASOS capsule wardrobe video uh, they're just great as well they're like the square toed block heel boots and yeah I think they're the perfect thing to pair with a black skinny jean they just really elongate your leg with this whole slimline effect that they both have. Um, jewelry wise, got my standard good old faves on. I've got my ASOS hoops, um, fossil little earring, Maria Tash hoop, um, rings are Masoma Shashi, I think that's how you pronounce it, ASOS and another stories, Majuri Majuri. Gonna be taking the Sophie Hulme bag out for the first time tonight, first outing, uh, which I'll probably end up wearing a crossbody because I'm no um, doubt gonna throw on like a coat and a hat probably with this look. So I thought I would just show you what it looks like before all of that happens and um, you can't really see what's going on. So yeah, that's my outfit of the night. Hello. Can you grab my phone? Are you gonna interrupt me? I thought you were almost finished. Put your new boots on. Yeah. I've got my new boots on too. Who's is better? I've got to say, mine. I think mine. No way cooler. You already messed them up. Nope. What? So where are you taking me? Uh, the pub. For a month. I know. That's what I thought. <laughs> it is actually quite a cosy, uh, sparkly pub. There's little fairy lights around at the moment. I will probably show you guys later. But yeah, we can head out, and I'll see you soon. Have some beer. Have some beer. I'm not gonna have any beer, but you can have some beer. I will. Watch the 
beast that she smells, the food. She sniffs round to see where the prey is. When she spots a camembert, look at the look at the dribble coming out the mouth. Look at it. But yet the camembert is out of reach. Unfortunately, she'll have to go hungry tonight. But there's always tomorrow. I'm like the next David Attenborough. this vlog off um we've just got back we've assembled the sofa into what we call sofa tron which is basically the two ends pushed together to make like a bed it is amazing and cramped it's not cramped it's cozy cozy two very different things um and we have the duvet in here so we'll probably end up sleeping here tonight which we have done on several occasions it's very nice um so yeah we have a big cozy sofa. Uh, we just went and got some Greek food, which smells amazing. I can't wait to eat it um, because I could probably do with lining my stomach a little bit now. And we have Bon Appetit videos on. Perfect, perfect end to a Friday night. Way past your bedtime. Mm. Sleepy, sleepy girl. Um, so, guys, thank you so much for watching this Vlogmas, and I will catch you all again in the next one. Bye. What? It's all bon. What? I basically paid for charcoal. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you guys with that. <laughs>